if only you could see what I see. If only I, you can see God doing for you like I see God doing for you. If you think that the alarm clock woke you up this morning. All right, talk about it. Let me tell you something. Let's go down to the graveyard. And we can take the biggest alarm clocks you can find. And let them ring all night long. All right. And I guarantee you, them just going to be some ringing alarm clock. Uh-huh. Yes, sir. That's right. But I came today to talk to you. I got to give you my Easter speech. All right. Uh-huh. And, and here is my speech. I want you to think for a matter. I want you to think about, oh, my daughter is here, Trendy. Could y'all give, I just want to recognize her, Trendy. <laughs> I remember the last time she was here, she left crying because she said we didn't get her nothing. Aww. And she know I'm going to give my daughter something. Amen. Yeah. And that's my son right there. Hey, uh, hey, let's hey, give him a hand. Hey, uh, hey. I tell the story often when he's not around that uh, he's, a, he's a good looking guy like his dad, you know. Aww. So uh, he, he, he says to me, uh, you know, what, what do I have to do? to meet the perfect woman. I, uh, you, the, the first thing you got to do, you're probably going to get as fortunate as I am with your mama. Yeah, I, got, I got fortunate. Right, amen. Come on now. But amen. it's a possibility uh-huh. you can get blessed. You got to talk to him. Amen. Ain't that something? Ain't that, is that not the first step? You got to talk to him. That's right. You gotta talk I to might him. be embarrassing him now, so he may never come back. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, to my, this is my wife's boss right here, Keisha. I got to recognize her. Oh, yeah. Sister amen. Keisha. Yeah, yeah, give her amen. Right. amen. <laughs> But well, y'all don't know. It's hard to tell Tracy what to do. She, she's able to do it. I thank God for her. Okay. And for the subject, I want you to think about what are you seeking? What are you looking for? What are you looking for? All right. Are you even looking for anything? Uh-huh. If you ain't looking for nothing, you, I guarantee you, you ain't going to find it. All right. All right. What are you looking for? I want to leave that, let that soak in for a minute. What? Uh, what are you asking God to help you with? I know that's right, man. Now, for real, think about it. Mm-hmm. What could you, if I, okay, if I give everybody twenty seconds to write down, what are you asking God to help you with? Uh, could you write down that? Yes. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. She said, "I can." Yeah. Praise God. Yeah. Praise God. Cause hold on to that. I'm glad you said you could. Because if you can say uh, what you're asking God for, you should write it down. That's right. Because I want you to see that God has done it and doing it again. If you don't believe me, play your tape back. Today is April the uh, 9th. Play your tape back one year and look where you were last year. That's right. And look where God has brought you to now. Only God. Somebody say only God. Only God. Only God could have done that. Some of us have been to the hospital and didn't think we would come back. We were on a one-way trip to the hospital. But God. But God. You ready, Mother? Verse number one. We're going to go to the book of Luke, chapter 24. We're going to read verse one through seven. Mother's going to read verse one. Talk about it. Now, upon the first day of the week, very mm-hmm. early in the morning. Early. Hold on for a second. Early in the morning. Man, I found the best job I could find, and that's being a substitute teacher. I know that's a hard job, but it's because the hours I do elementary school, so I get out at two. I'll be done. I'll be at the house. I'm done. But the only problem, mother, is I got to get up early in the morning. All right, talk about it. If it went for that, it'll really be easy. But I got to see that where we're suffering from. You got to get up. Everybody say early in the morning. There's a saying that the early bird catches the worm. You got to get up. Amen. Early to catch the worm. Keep, come on, uh, mother. They came unto the sepulchre, bringing the spices which they had prepared. 
They brought the stuff that they had prepared. You know, the reason that they brought the spices was they were going to dress Jesus, the body of Jesus with it, so he wouldn't, as the decaying body, he wouldn't stink. And you understand what I'm saying? So they were coming to help God prepare his son's body. Amen? Amen? But I want you to know, God had already prepared his own spices, right? Just like God has something prepared for you. Amen. That's why I want you to make a clear statement on what it is that you're asking God for. Amen. Because if you don't know what you want, then ain't no way you can get it. Talk about it if you don't declare today, this is what I'm asking God for, you're just going to be lost in the sauce. Mm -hmm. Come on, uh, mother. And certain others with him. And there were some other people with him. There were some people trying to help God out. They were going to help the son of they were going to help the son of God out. Come on, mother. And they found the stone rolled away from the sepulchre. You know, a stone is different than a big boulder. A stone is something that's prepared, like a gravestone. They prepared this stone. Why am I saying that? Because people that's coming against you have prepared something to hold you down. Right. They're not just doing it. They done sat back and planned and plotted. And I say, this is going to get her. This going to get him. This going to really take him out right here. So what you feel coming against you is planned. They didn't just look out there and find any boulder. They had a plan to hold Jesus down. Amen. Somebody's trying to hold you down. Say amen. amen. I need you to know that. Identify that. Somebody is trying to hold you down. I'll tell you. All right. I got to stay right there for one more minute. Somebody. Somebody is trying to hold you down. Jeez. And the truth is, you cannot move it by yourself. You need some help. Amen. 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 Come on, mother. And they entered in and found not the body of the Lord Jesus. Listen. When they, they went the into grave. hold on, hold on, man. When they went into the gravesite, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. y'all understand that, that that gravesite was never to be opened again. Mm -hmm. So right. when they went in, it was a dark place, yes. yeah. and they went in there looking for a dead body. Say, yeah. hey, right. man, church, yeah. I'm preaching better than you yeah. saying, Amen. They went into a very dark place. Amen. What were they looking for? The body of Christ. Amen. You know, people are putting you in deep and dark situations. Mm -hmm. And they're closing the stone saying, you'll never make it out of that. Mm -hmm. Oh, man, I'm only saying this because Jesus only did it for an example. He's trying to get you to see you can make it out. Yes. Mm -hmm. All right. Yes, sir. There's nobody in here in a cave with a stone rolled over in front of it. Mm -hmm. All right. Amen, amen. Talk about it. But God. Everybody say, but God. But yeah. God. I'm telling you, God, some there's somebody in here that's been down for a long time. They've been down so long that they're beginning to think that that's just how I'm supposed to be. They done gave up on praying and reading the Bible because they don't feel like that's going to help them. Amen? Amen? Listen, understand something. Everybody that needs help don't need financial help. Amen. Amen. Everybody that needs help don't need deliverance from drugs. That's right. Amen. See, I'm just saying that because you're saying, oh, I ain't dealing with that, so I'm all right. Everybody that needs help ain't dealing with homosexuality. Amen. Amen. I'm good on that, so I don't need... No, you need help. Amen. There's a stone in front of the door, and it's meant to leave you in there forever. Jesus. And it will leave you in there if you don't get some help. Right. Say it now. Number four. Come, come on, mother. And it came to pass, as they were much perplexed thereabout. Hold on. Hold on. Verse 17. Have any, is anybody in here? Don't, don't answer this, but I just want to ask this question. Is anybody in there perplexed about their situation? Listen, I'm just using a surface, easy to see situation. Uh, my van is down, and I'm just gonna keep going. And I'm perplexed about it. All right. My my cousin up in Atlanta, thank you God for that, brother. He asked me last week, 
what do you want to do? I mean, how do you want to fix the situation? What do you, cause why? Because he's going to help me. That's why he ain't asking me just to be nosy. He said, I'm going to help you. What do you want to do? Uh, one, I don't know, cuz. <laughs> I don't know. Are you going to fix the value? So what am I saying? Is somebody in here going through something that they don't know? They're perplexed about it. It's got them confused. Do we know who the author of confusion is? The devil. Well, go ahead, mother. Behold, two men stood by them in shining garments. Listen, two men appeared to them in a deep, dark place. And hold on, and there, what they had on was shining. Mm -hmm. Why was it shining? Why was it shining? Did they have a light on the inside? Did they have a was something? Whatever it was, it's shining. Amen. And it's something that's calling you right now, and it's shining. Jesus. Why? Because it's your help. Amen. It's your help. Mm -hmm. When you pray, what do you see? What is God showing you? Do you see a light like I see a light when I pray? When I close my eyes? What are you even looking for when you close your eyes? Yeah. You know the prayer, now I lay me down to sleep. That, that's a good prayer. But it's not in the Bible. I pray the Lord my soul to keep. That's a good prayer. Everybody know that prayer. If I should die. before I, Who said that before I wake? Help me. Oh, mother, not you. I mean, somebody else. Somebody, I need some help. Let's, I was going to recite this thing right here. Let's do it. Now I lay me. Oh, here we go. We, I praise the Lord. Okay, mother, you, you can't. Okay, I got to disqualify certain people in here. Everybody up here, y'all can't say nothing. All right. Just people, you got to be past mother right there. Y'all, y'all, everybody in here qualified. Mother, y'all got to be qualified. Uh, okay, ready? Let's try it again from the top. Now I lay me. Uh -uh, hold on, hold on. Don't get in front of me. I pray the Lord. Come on now, we praying, y'all. If I should die. Oh, yeah. Tell your neighbor the words, too, by the way. I pray the Lord. That's all I know. Y'all go ahead and run with it. What else to say? That's it, ain't it? That's it. That's it, okay. We on Facebook, so they're going to say they don't even know the. That's it. Okay, let's do it all together. Let's go. Because some people don't know it, all right? Uh, let's take it from the top. I, uh, now I lay me down to sleep. I pray the Lord. Come on, recite my soul to keep. If I should die before I wake, I pray the Lord my soul to take. Amen. 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 Okay, keep, go ahead, mother. And as they were afraid and bowed down their faces to the earth, they said unto them, Why seek ye the living among the dead? And that's what I came to talk about. Mm. All right. Why? Are you seeking the living among the dead? Mm. Okay. Now, in some situations, that's good. Now, if we were in Ukraine and a big bomb hit a building and, and you know, we got to look for people that's living, right, among the dead. Right? Right. Is that right? That's and right. then what they do what they call triage. And then you got to find out who, somebody medically in the world, medical world right here, you know All how right. to do triage. You got to find out those most likely to live, those most likely to die. So we got to triage them. And we got to treat the people that are breathing and talking. Yeah, amen? That's right. Yes, yes, right. Amen. But we're looking for love. It's a song that came out. I think the guy was named Johnny Lee. And the song was called Looking for Love. Uh-oh, somebody heard that song before. In all the wrong places. Yes, sir. And this is what he said. He said, I'm looking for love in all the wrong places. I'm looking for love and too many faces. Uh -huh. I'm searching their eyes, looking for uh, traces of what I'm dreaming of. Talk Amen. It, Hoping to find a friend and a lover, I'll bless the Lord the day. I he said the Lord, I'll bless the day I discover another heart looking for love. Amen. All right. See, some of us are looking for love, but we're looking for love in on the wrong places. Fix it up, Reverend. For instance, we're saying, I got a good drug dealer. What you say? He give me all my drugs on credit. That's a good drug dealer. You're looking for love in the wrong place. That's right. Some of us say, I got a good payday loan person. They always give me 
all the way up to my whole check. Anytime I want. They'll loan me my whole check. My Lord. Yeah, that's a good payday loan officer right there. Well. Oh, it's gonna get a little sticky. I got a good side piece. She don't never tell nobody nothing. Huh? She do everything I say or hear you. How you I knew we were going to get rough in here. I'm like, whoa, what? Whoa. I got a good, look, I got a good uh, 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 casino owner. Because he always loaned me my whole check so I can sit there and play till I feel comfortable. See, we're looking for love. In all the wrong places. In all the wrong places. Talk about it, Reverend. Amen. Say amen. Amen. Today, I want us to start looking for love in Jesus Christ. Yes. See, we have an advantage over every other religion because we serve a risen Savior. I think that's where Mother's going right now. Come on, Mother. Come on, we got to hurry up before they go to sleep on me, Mother. <laughs> Verse 6. Why should you deliver Mother today? Verse 6. He is not here, but is risen. That's Remember it. how he spoke unto you? And then, hold on, but he is risen. Yeah. Everybody say, he is risen. He is, he is he risen. risen. That's what we need to serve, a risen Savior. Amen. That's Amen. what Easter is all about. Mm -hmm. That's what the good news is. That's the gospel. That's what I want you to go out of here today saying, he yeah. is risen. Amen. He is alive. Amen. 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 He is risen. Amen. Yeah. It's important that he be alive because he knows what you're going through. Yes, he do. Oh, yes. You know, if you go to the doctor, talk about it. He don't really know. He's taking a very good guess. Yes, he is. Show you right. Matter of fact, if you keep talking, the doctor going to act like he don't hear you. Amen. I'm going to tell you why, because he don't know. He ain't lying. I was just... Getting ready to go to the doctor, Pastor Willis. And you know what happened? I said, hey, can I speak to my doctor? And get what they said. He the same age as me. And he telling me how to live. I stay alive. They said he died suddenly. <laughs> exactly. I said, now what kind of advice is he giving me if he died suddenly? <laughs> I said, no, nah, they, they might have the wrong doctor. Baby, look that up because they know where my doctor done died. She said, yeah, he did. My Lord. What am I saying? These doctors are practicing, but God is a risen Savior. He knows what you're going through. Amen. He's here to help you, and you need some help. Amen? Amen. Anybody today say, I need some help. Say, I need some help. I need some help. Amen. You can't just sit there and get help. You got to get up. Even if, the, even if you're in a dangerous situation and you see the emergency exit and you just sit there saying, I see the emergency exit. You've got to get there one way or the other. You've got to crawl. Whatever you got to do, you've got to do something. Amen. That's where we are right now. Amen. Amen. We've got to do something, church. Amen. We've got to get some help. Because the devil is trying to take you out. He's trying to take you out. Amen. And I'm finished. I'm finished. I, but I do want to, as I, as I close, I want to I wanna share a story with you. My cousin, uh, LeBru, I love him dearly. Uh, when I was a kid, you know, he used to come around. Uh, he was my big cousin. And some of you got little cousins and stuff like that. And he used to grab me. And he'd be choking me out. And see, well, I'm a mama's boy. Ain't that right, uh, Tracy? I'm a mama's boy. And so all I would know to do is say, Mama, Mama, help me, help me. <laughs> my mama would say, Boy, get your hands off my son. See, my dad used to be at work. He used to work. So it was just me and my mama. And so, and then he would say, he would let me go. And then he would say, my mama named Mildred. I mean, I was just playing with that boy. But see, right now, the devil has some of us in a chokehold. Mm -hmm. And the difference between the devil and my cousin, he ain't playing with you. Amen. He's trying to take you out. Yes. 
You need some help. And you don't even know what you're looking for because I asked you, what are you looking for? And you didn't even, you can't even write it down. I hear one person say, I know what I want. You need some help. And if you, and if you find yourself in that position right now, I want to pray with you. All right. I hope it's all right if I pray with you. Yeah. I'm going to ask everyone to stand. Give people the confidence to come up. So everybody stand for a quick moment. I love you. Oh, y'all got a song? I love you. I love you, Lord, today. Because you care for me. Would that be one come up? In such a special way. That's why I Hello, my name is Juan Lane, and thank you for tuning in to this station, New Way to Live. Listen, we can't do it without your help. We need you to send your donations in today. This is how this station operates, and we're trying to do the very best for you and your family with the production that we have. We are really giving it our all, but we cannot continue it without your financial support. So please, send your offerings in to P.O. Box 3615. Columbus, Georgia, 363193, in, in care of, of New Way to Live. And we'll make sure that we get it on so we can keep this great program going. If you and your family are enjoying it, we pray that you continue to, to, to we pray that you send us an a, a offering that we can continue it and, and do the very best for you. Um, also, make sure that you watch our uh, public education program. This is a very special program where it can help you prepare for your next test, the public education program, right here on New Way to Live. Thank you. Did you know that the majority of people have no will, trust, or power of attorney? What will happen to your children, property, or other assets? If you can't make decisions for yourself, who will know your wishes? Will the appropriate people know where to find all of your personal and financial documentations and information? Well, we have a program developed by attorneys to complete at your own pace from the comfort of your home. You can update this program as needed with no add-ons or surprise fees. You can secure all of your important information in this virtual password-protected safety deposit box with easy-to-use services and client support system available. Please call me today at 706-366-5520. Again, call me today at 706-366-5520. I hope to hear from you soon.